doing these live, so I apologize to the 14 listeners out there. The, um, the sorry, Tom. Um, you, you talked a lot in camp about how you were giving a lot, a lot of guys equal reps. Yeah. Obviously, losing Gus not ideal by any measure, but like, how valuable is it that Mark, Joe, other guys, they, they, they're probably as prepared as Gus was. How valuable is that? It's huge. Um, the distribution at that position was probably the best, to be honest with you, uh, in terms of that. So uh, I just wanted to, uh, from the get-go, just give all four guys reps with the ones. Um, and even uh, Walter Tucker, to be honest with you, got a lot of reps, too, in, uh, inside Ron and things of that nature. So um, really, we don't feel like we're going to miss a beat there. You know, we feel bad for Gus, uh, disappointed for him. He worked really hard. Um, but he's going to be back. He's in great spirits, and uh, but uh, it's a great opportunity for the other other three guys to step up and uh, and execute. Al, some of the players told us that Gus has been involved, has still been at meetings, yeah. still teaching. How important is that in just continuing his process moving forward? It is, you know, just uh, you know, not to, you know, they go through stages, you know, and uh, but not to not to go through. Uh, Depression or denial after that. I mean, he's put so much into it, and uh, and was really having a great camp and a great summer. So, uh, really proud of him. Uh, he's been a leader, and he's continued to do that. And I couldn't believe, uh, you know, just seeing him being in all the meetings and everything uh, right away. It's it's awesome to see. Coach, we always hear guys talk about players taking that next step. As a coach and a coaching staff, what do you guys want to do is take the next step for this team to succeed going into this year? Uh, again, I think uh, going back to January, I think there's a lot of things that we have done. Uh, you know, most of them are in the house, um, but I feel like we've positioned ourselves where we need to be. And I told I told the guys, you know, we had a successful spring, successful summer. Uh, our preseason camp was really good, but all we did is set the table now for the season. So we got to execute. Uh, we got to be better on, on third down. Certainly, got to be better in the red zone. Uh, on both sides of the ball, we got to protect the ball better on offense and take it away. Uh, and then penalties. You know, again, uh, a team is a reflection of, of you know the coaching staff, and we weren't very good uh, with our penalties a year ago. It starts with me. We got to get that fixed, and we got to be better uh, from from uh, a turn turnover aspect. So there's a lot of other things, obviously, that are not for public consumption, but uh, that the coaches have already been challenging. Going all the way back, because I know you're not here all the time, just. Going all the way back, these are things that I've addressed all the way back to the spring, and just making sure that uh, you know we've done a lot of things internally different and uh, and challenge challenge the coaches to do that. Yeah, I just wanted to get you to talk about Dallas Crawford a little bit. Yeah, you know, getting the starting job at safety, and, and you know you guys made the switch from running back to safety. Took a while to learn that, but just. What, what did you see from Dallas in camp and, and what he's going to bring you guys now to start at Yeah, time? he's playing with more poise. Uh, he's leaner. He's definitely leaner uh, than he has been. He's playing with more poise uh, and he's tackling better. You know, he's just playing faster. He's settled in now. Uh, he's playing with more confidence and, uh, and just playing faster, a little bit more reckless. So, uh, but I think his tackling is one of the things that I've seen. He's not giving up deep balls and he's tackling better. So, uh, excellent leader, uh, maturity that we, you know, desperately need. And, uh, Again, I think that group, you know, we're going to play a lot of guys there. Dallas is also a special team guy for us on the kickoff coverage. Yes, sir. When you talk about reducing, not having to cut back on penalties, what have you seen to, I guess, lead you to believe that, that you're going to do that? Yeah, I think it's been markedly better. You know, just uh, going over it every day, just having a category of bad ball and, and uh, putting everything that's bad ball in there every day and showing the kids and, What's acceptable? Uh, you know, we, we quality control our numbers every day. We quality quality control the, the scrimmages. Our numbers are down. I can, you know, uh, you know, we need to see that Saturday night. We don't need to see uh, nerves or anything. We need, we need to play with poise and, uh, and and not have penalties and, and uh, play with our technique. How you touched on poise and staying com staying comfortable with so many freshmen probably getting a chance to make their debuts this week. How do you make sure the moment doesn't get too big for them? Just you know, just being consistent, uh, being consistent every day uh, with our approach, with our plan, uh, with how we practice, and those guys, you know, matching that standard. Uh, I think the leaders have to continue to mentor a lot of those guys and guide them through it. Um, you know, everything's going to be the first time, right? First time in the stadium, first time at the hotel, uh, first time in the pregame meetings, and all that. So we really need good leadership. We got it today, which is awesome. Uh, but by my last count, 
and again, we might be off one or two, but uh, including special teams and everything, I think we're looking at nine redshirt freshmen and, uh, and 12, uh, 12 true freshmen uh, that will play. Al, did you ever contemplate asking Dallas to switch back to running back? Uh, you mean now, you mean? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, uh, I like the, the group that we have there. I like the group that we have. Joe, uh, you know, uh, Mark and, uh, and Trayon. Uh, I'm excited about that group that we have. So, um, you know, Tuck would be the fourth right now. And if it got to a situation where we needed more than that, then, you know, we, we have some other things that are in place. Um, also, you, I heard you on the radio say, I guess yesterday, that Gus, you know, needs surgery. Yep. Did he have surgery? He or did. What? He did. That's when. Uh, that's when we found out. Uh, so it was really one of those things where uh, we we just couldn't tell. Uh, you know, we were they were going to just uh, you know get to you know get him to the hospital and then uh, figure it all out at that at that moment. And, and uh, if he needed it, they were going to do it. So we literally didn't know until it was over. Was it Saturday night he had surgery? Saturday afternoon.